What's up you guys, it's your boy Felipe and today we're gonna to talk about the four ways to get a tenant out of your house if you are trying to evict them without an actual eviction. Let's get started. All right, guys, before we get started, though, please hit the like button, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Seriously, it helps a lot. A lot of times people just sit down, watch a great video, and just forget to hit the like button. So I'm gonna let these first couple seconds be about you smashing the like button and leaving a comment just about how you've liked the previous videos and what you would like to see in the future. I'll reply to every single one. Leave me what kind of video you want me to watch, or to not watch, but to make for you. Yeah, and if you have a fun video to, for me to watch, put the link in the bio or below. Anyways. So let's get started. Right now, during the pandemic, it's been very hard for landlords to evict tenants, almost impossible. And there's kind of like an interesting story there because a lot of people feel bad about evictions, but at the end of the day, you're still running a business and you still have to feed your family, pay your mortgage, and just the whole thing. So if you're fair across the board with everyone, then I think there's no moral dilemma there. You have to be fair across the board with everyone. That's so why everyone has to abide by the same rules. The number one way that I typically get a tenant out if I don't want to go through the eviction process is a very simple concept called cash for keys. Cash for keys is when you allow the tenant to take money from you for them to move out. Now, at first you're like, Felipe, why would I do that? Why would I give them money if they're not paying me rent? Well, the reason I do this is because I don't want them tearing up the inside of my house while I'm trying to evict them, right? They know that you're trying to evict them. They're gonna probably tear some stuff up. Uh, so what I do is I basically talk to the tenant. And I'm like, look, I have uh, $5,000 that I'm gonna allocate or $4,000 or $1,000, whatever it is that I'm gonna allocate towards lawyers to evict you. And it's gonna go on your record and it's gonna affect your credit and it's gonna affect your rentability going forward. Now what I can do is I can allow you 80, 50, 100% of that money to get out. And now I don't have to allocate that towards a lawyer. I can give it to you and you can use that to move to your next place. 80, 90% of the time, this works. People love this strategy because it works. People need money, which is why they haven't paid you rent. So this fixes that problem. The second strategy I use to uh, have someone come out or get out of my apartment or my house or the rooms without an eviction is offer to pay for the move and or first month's rent wherever they go. Now, it's kind of the same as cash for keys, except now they don't have to have the burdensome of moving furniture and, and, and finding a place and you know whatever, because you're gonna tell them, hey, I'll, I'll hire the movers for you, and here's a little secret. You can go to uhaul.com, hire a helper, or movinghelp.com, and movers are really cheap. And now it's beyond you. You just tell them to pay for it and you're gonna pay them back or you write them a check for them to pay for it and you schedule it. Well, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do it, but just hire the movers for them, rent them a U-Haul and then just move their stuff. So <clears throat> offer to pay first month's rent or the movers because some of the times they don't know where to go or, or they, they might know where to go, but they can't afford all of it. They can't afford a down payment on the new place to pay the movers like pay all that so if you just cover those little expenses for them yeah maybe you're gonna be out some money but at least they're not living for free in your house much longer and the quicker you get them out the cleaner you get them out uh, it's gonna save you money in the long run all right so the next way that I get people out of my rental property without an eviction is educate them on the resources that are out there perfect example uh, let's say that we're in Nashville Tennessee Get it, Nashville, Tennessee. And you're trying to evict someone, but um, there, you know, because of the because of the pandemic and all that, we're not allowed to right now. Or I think in Nashville we can now, uh, but for a while we couldn't. Uh, there's a lot of community resources that help people. So if you give them those sign up sheets or, or 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 send them the links, hey, look, there's there's rental assistant programs here. Fill these out, and then those rental assistant programs will pay you. So you can start helping them through that process. A lot of times, um, people that can't pay are just n malinformed or uneducated when it comes to programs that help them um, pay their rent. A lot of people don't know about these things. So these are really important resources that you as a landlord should already have in your back pocket in case the situation ever comes about. Don't wait till the last minute to start trying to find these resources. <laughs> Even if everyone's paying the rent and you think you're never going to use it, you should have an operating procedure. And we'll talk about that in a minute 
when it comes to giving to your tenants if this situation happens because it's going to happen to everyone unfortunately at some point i don't know one landlord that's never had to not evict or go these this this four routes now number four is very simple super over communicate over number four is over communicate so over communicate to your tenant the downside of not paying rent it goes on your permanent record it goes on your um uh, credit report it, it's going to go you're not going to be able to use me as a reference when you get to your next rental property uh, if they're going to continue to rent most renters are lifetime renters or rent for a long time so over communicate the 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 negative side effects of not paying their rent and being evicted a lot of the times these four things will help get someone out of an eviction by leaving the property without you having to go through that process. So let's go over them again. Cash for keys, where you pay them to get out straight up. Here's a thousand dollars, get out of my property. Number two is offer to pay for their move, right? Their moving expenses, first month's rent at their next place, whatever needs to happen, happens. Educate them on the resources that are out there that helps them potentially um, uh, use money to pay you their rent. Uh, by finding certain, you know, uh, resources out there online, community resources, church organizations. There's a lot of things out there. And number four is over communicate the negative side effects of being evicted. These are very, very important. And these are the four ways that as a landlord, I avoid evictions. Now, what I said earlier about you have to have an operating procedure as a landlord to uh, an eviction. So before an eviction happens, you don't want to be shooting from the hip you want to have already an action plan. Okay, this person hasn't paid rent. I need to have an action plan in case this ever happens. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna first offer, uh, I would do them backwards. I would first over communicate. And the next thing I would do is educate them on the resources. And then number three is I would offer to pay for their move. And number four is cash for keys. So I told you in worst, uh, worst case scenario all the way to the bottom, but the way you probably should have it in your operating procedures, you should first start with communication. I would do communication first week, educate the second week, offer to pay for their rent the third week, and then the fourth week just say, hey, I'll just give you some money that I'm gonna use for uh, the lawyer to get you out. Does that make sense? So those are what I use as a landlord to get people out if I ever have to evict. My goal is to never have to evict, it's to go through this list, over-educate, communicate, offer to pay for their move, and uh, last case scenario is cash for keys. So these are super crucial uh, to have already in an operating procedure in case this happens to you. Anyways, thanks guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like button, leave me a comment, and subscribe to the channel. It super helps with these videos if you have found them informative. Let me know what else you want me to do. Thanks guys.